Hello everyone, my name is John McMillan, I'm the track announcer and the director at the National Capital Region Harness Horse Association. I have Ian Fleming on our line. Ian is currently at Clinton Raceway this afternoon and we've had a big change. We have a new race secretary and Ian Fleming, we'd like to welcome you to Rito Carlton. Thank you very much, John, looking forward to it. Now at Rito Carlton, uh, we had Scott McKelvey and of course Scott and his team did a great job. So as far as we're concerned, this is like trading a Wendell Clark for a Matt Sundin. Uh, we have a great deal of respect for Scott McKelvey and the job that his team did. And as well, you come in with a tremendous reputation as well. Talk a bit about the way things work in your race office. I think uh, somewhat similar to what Scott did. I think it's, uh, you're going to see probably a few tracks will maybe shift around next year in Ontario and get different people involved just to uh, you know, mix things up a little bit. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, I've never worked at a track where it had basically a lot of the same horses every week, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, just trying to uh, match the group of horses up and uh, hopefully it works for everybody. That's what our goal is anyway. And physically, you are six or eight hours away. Uh, is there a chance that we'll see you at Rideau Carlton from time to time and be able to introduce you on a one-on-one -on -one basis to the horse people here? Oh, for sure. I think uh, I'm pre Pre-COVID, that would have, you know, probably happened every, you know, six, eight weeks. And uh, but I certainly uh, will be looking forward to getting up there in the spring and and uh, just put a face to the name of some of the people, and, and uh, that makes it easier in some regards. A lot of the people that race there, in fact, the majority of the people that race there, I already know that race up here from time to time. But uh, certainly not all of them, that's for sure. And uh, you've been doing this for a long time. Can you talk about your career in harness racing? I understand you've been an owner. Uh, you've obviously worked in track management as well as being a race secretary. Yeah, just, just passionate about the game. Started uh, working in the race office, I guess, probably 40 years ago. Wow. And uh, been involved in all aspects of it, and it's uh, it's the people that, that keep you at it. It's a great, uh, a great group of a uh, lot of characters and uh, a lot of good people in the horse business, and it's a great industry to work in. So your first draw will be for the Sunday program, the first Sunday in December. Mm -hmm. I assume, uh, at least for the end of this year, you're going to be keeping the draw dates the same? Yeah, the draw dates will be the same, and in similar conditions, it seems to be working reasonably well up there, and I think it's only four days in December, so uh, get those days in, and then when you're on a break in January, get some feedback from uh, the people that race there about, you know, what, uh, what kind of horses they're going to have in February. That's the key. You can right with the races you want, but we'll have to find out what kind of horses people feel they'll have around and then try to work from there. For sure, that makes sense. Also, other than the horse people here speaking with you, uh, can you talk about the other staff that you have in your office? Yes, yeah, Stacy uh, Smith worked uh, for quite a while, seven or eight years, and uh, Christy Dijon works and uh, she manages the racing side for us, and uh, we're the landlord here for the slots, obviously, but she... Uh, Fills in uh, on the phone some days too, so so uh, they get along well with people. And uh, a lot of people, the online entering is getting more popular. People still call up, you know, after the box is closed to if they want to change the class they're in or something. But we're seeing more and more people entering the night before. It's convenient for them, and so there's not uh, not as much phoning as it used to be for sure. Okay, that makes sense, and maybe that's something we can work at from our end as well, educating our horse people. Uh, as to how to use the online entries, I'm sure that would make your job a bit easier as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it works well in the States, but it's like everything else. It's uh, Over time, I'm sure more people will use it, but uh, it's been an uncertain year on a variety of fronts, so uh, new things just kind of get lost to the mix maybe this year, so we'll, we'll work through the winter time and uh, see how things go. And as far as uh, catch drivers go, uh, do you keep a catch drivers list in the race office? Do you ask trainers to mention a couple drivers that you pick at the end, or do you try to contact people on draw day? How does that work in your race office? Yeah, we don't we don't phone them because uh, you'd be on the phone constantly. So people people they give either a couple choices when they uh, enter, or they're they're good at calling the next day. And if people want uh, people want the driver they want on their horse. They don't. Uh, so it's very very little guessing for drivers. People. Trainers are keen to get uh, the driver they want, so they call the next morning by 9 o'clock and let us know who they want to drive. Okay, perfect. And we have a, a vast choice of experienced drivers here at Rideau Carlton. I'm sure you'll be very pleased with uh, the catch drivers you have to put on horses at scratch time. Is there anything else, Ian, you'd like to add before you get uh, deeper into this next uh, Thursday? No, I'm just, I'm just looking forward to it. 
forward to it. I think it'll be a uh, new challenge. It'll be good, and it'll be we won't get everything right. That's for sure. But uh, we'll we'll try and get as much right as we can, and uh, and uh, start next week. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll go well. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for doing this, Ian. And uh, we at Rideau Carleton, along with the horse people at the National Capital Region Harness Horse Association, are really excited uh, to look towards the future with uh, what you can do along with the management team here. Yeah, well, we talk, I talked to, uh, to Scott and his group from Mohawk all the time, and they were they said it was a great uh, group to work with, so I'm not anticipating many problems. It should go well. That's great. All right, thank you very much. Ian Fleming, the new race secretary at Rideau Carleton. Thanks, John.